In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, I'd like to alert you to some of the changes that have taken place as they've updated PhotoDirector 365 as of April 2023. When you open the program, you're going to see this splash screen. It has promotional stuff on the right side and then two buttons on the left side. The button you pick is going to make a big difference in your editing screen. Let me show you how one and the other work. We're going to start by just clicking on the edit mode. Now when I click on the edit button, I'm going to see this very simple screen. I don't have any library resources mentioned, nothing about metadata, but I do have two options. I can edit in a guided mode or I can edit in an expert mode. If I want to load an image, I click on the file folder and I can load from my local drive. Let me just pick this one here and open it and proceed to do some editing. Now I can switch between the guided button and the expert button and all the sub menus. And I have a very simple quick export button now at the top in blue. So these are all the ways in which we can modify and change our images to very simple, very basic editing with the maximum screen available. So that's a nice feature. Now let's assume I'm editing and I want to exit the program and go through the other door as it were. I'm going to click on the X in the upper right corner. Now to my surprise, that doesn't exit the program. It takes me back to the splash screen. So then I can try the other option which is organized and adjust. When I click on there, now I have a library button that I didn't have in the other menu. If I want to click on the library button, I'm going to see all my library resources. I have a tab with metadata. I can tag things. I can use albums. All kinds of other features are now available to me like they were before in this familiar menu. I have library, adjust, and create. Now there have been some things that have moved. For example, I've had some users who looking at tutorials on bracket HDR and couldn't find it. That, for example, is now under the Create button under the Photo Merge subcategory. Now you also have two buttons over here. You have an Edit button and you can drop down for either Guided or Expert. Let's click on that. When I click on Guided, I'm back to the screen that I saw before when I use the other button from the splash screen. And I can switch between guided and expert and now this looks like the other screen. But the difference is, if you notice in the upper left corner, I still have a back button. And so the back button will take me to the screen where now I can also interact with the library stuff if I want to. So again, I can use the guided or expert options here. I can go back and forth and access the library. Now if I want to edit again in the other mode, I can click on the X in the upper right corner. Again, it does not end the program. It takes me back to the splash screen. So you can go back and forth between either of these as much as you want, depending on the style of editing you're going to do in PhotoDirector 365. To completely exit the program, once you're back at the splash screen, you simply click on the X in the upper right corner and it will end the program. There's some new features that PhotoDirector 365 in its latest version now has. We'll be showing you some tutorials on that in coming lessons.